What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Sweet and Savory Barbecue. I'm your host, Jamie Trader. Today, we're going to be doing competition chicken legs on our Myra Mix and Smoker. Let's get started. So we've got eight chicken legs here. Typically for a contest, I do cook 16, but since we're just cooking up here at the house, I'm just going to cook eight. We're going to get them trimmed up. They're really easy to do. We're just going to pull the skin back on there. There's a couple of tendons in there I want to get out. See, there's one here on this side, and there's one here on this side. You just take a knife and kind of work it up out of there. You see it comes right out. Grab hold of it. Just trim it on out of there. Flip it over. Make sure your skin pulled down far enough and grab this other one out of there. And there's your two tendons. Pull the skin back up and they're ready to go. We're going to get the rest of these trimmed up and we're going to come back and inject them. So to get our legs injected, we're just using some chicken broth here. There's tons of different injections on the market that have different phosphates in them. And we will use those too. But we're just going to use some chicken broth today. Just come in on each side. That's where the judge is going to bite at. And pull the injector out as you're squeezing. That way you get nice even coverage. Pull it in and out. And we do that with each chicken leg. So to get our chicken seasoned, I'm gonna kind of flip them all to the back side. We're gonna start with that side first because we want to keep that top nice and pretty for the judges. And we're just gonna use some of Killer Hog Z barbecue rub. We're gonna go fairly light. We don't want to overpower the chicken. Now we're going to set them in our pan with the bottom side down. If you need to, you need to pull the skin up over top of them so it looks just like you want it and just set them over in your pan. Kind of crisscross them. We're going to get eight legs in one of these small half pans. So we've got our legs converted over into our pan. We're just going to come back and season the top side. Still using that same Killer Hog Z barbecue rub. Nice and light coat. It's going to provide great flavor, a nice color. And that's all it takes for these legs. We are going to cut up some butter and throw it in here. We'll show you how we place that around the pan. So we've got our butter. We've cut it up into some pats. Just going to kind of stick it on the sides so it melts down underneath. It doesn't go over top and wash all our rub off. I like to start with the four corners and then just kind of fill in where I feel it looks good. And we'll stick this little guy right there. We'll let this hang out. We're going to get our smoker fired up. We're going to be using our Myra Mix and Smokers running at 275. So our Myra Mix and Smokers running at 275. We're going to come in here. Just going to put it right here on this rack. Right there in the pan. We're going to let it cook for one hour until we come look at it. Our chicken's been on for one hour. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to give it a base. That butter's melted. It's going to help that chicken brown. It's going to add some richness. All right, we're going to let them keep on cooking. I'll we'll come back here and check them in a little bit. So we're at two total hours on our chicken legs. I'm going to come in here. Check the temp on them. Look for somewhere between 180 and 190. 180 there, we'll check one over here. 190. 186, that's perfect. We're going to get these off, we're going to get them sauced up, and we're going to bring them back out here to set. So we've got some Killer Hogs Z Barbecue sauce warmed up. We're just going to take each leg and kind of roll it in the sauce. Make sure you get full coverage. Let it drip off. 
right over here so we don't make a mess. And set it on a cooling rack so it can drip. And just do that with each leg. And kind of when you're doing this, try to pick out the six best. Like I said, normally for a contest, I'm cooking twice this amount to make sure we have six really good ones to put in the box. But these actually all look pretty good. They didn't, none of them tendons didn't pop. That helps with trimming it out. Sometimes the skin will still pop there. But and that doesn't affect the flavor. That's just an appearance thing. One last thing before they go back on to set. I just like to hit them with some more rub. Helps bring that color. We're going to get these back on the smoker running to 275 for 8 minutes. So our legs have glazed for that eight minutes. I want to start pretending we have a box here. We don't. And you can play with this however you want to do it. Like I said, there's a number of combinations you can do with this, but it's all on what you think looks good, what fits in the box well. So imagine there's a box here. You, you might have to play with it a couple times to see what works for you. A lot of it depends on the size of the legs as well. So before we try one, we're going to do a quick recap of what we did. We started with some chicken legs. We got them trimmed down. Got the tendons pulled out of them. We start. We want them all to be about the same size. You don't have to weigh them if you're not being real, real picky. But again, most of the same size, so it looks symmetrical in the box. We got them injected. We just used some chicken broth. There's a number of commercial injections. If you've got one you like, try that. Got them seasoned up with the Killer Hogs, How to Barbecue Right, The Barbecue Rub. Put them in a pan with some butter cooked them for an hour. After that first hour, we basted them with the butter that was melted and let them go about another hour. And they were temping that between 180 and 190. That's exactly where I want them. We got them off, got them sauced up with the Killer Hog Z barbecue sauce, hit them with a little bit more rub, threw them back out on the smoker for eight minutes at 275. And this is where we are now. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna try one. A judge is gonna bite right there on the side. Perfect bite through skin. Still a lot of juice in there. Try the other side. Again, the skin is still bite through. That's fantastic chicken. Thank you for checking out this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss our next video. And watch the next one we got picked out for you. We'll see you next time.